Donald Trump bringing his signature campaign style rally to Phoenix tonight, despite some vocal opposition from this man, Greg Stanton. He's the mayor of Phoenix. He's been asking Trump to cancel the whole thing for about a week now. Protesters are expected to turn out both pro and anti Trump in some big numbers. The president ignoring reporter questions today as he left the White House departing for Arizona. No answers from Trump on what's expected to be a hot button issue, all surrounding this man. Former Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Trump said earlier this month he was considering the controversial pardoning of Arpaio, who was found guilty of criminal contempt for violating the terms of a 2011 court order in a racial profiling case. A decision on a possible pardon could come tonight when Trump takes the stage in Arizona, a state he won in last year's election. Security is tight for tonight's rally, the first event of its kind since race fueled demonstrations in Charlottesville, Virginia. In the wake of that unrest, Phoenix Mayor Greg Stanton issued a public plea asking Trump to cancel his rally. Stanton repeated his request this week in an op ed in the Washington Post, saying America is hurting, and it is hurting largely because Trump has doused racial tensions with gasoline. With his planned visit to Phoenix on Tuesday, I fear the president may be looking to light a match. Trump's visit to Phoenix follows his televised address last night that saw the president Members vow to expand the U.S. military General presence Trump. in Afghanistan. Strategically applied force aims to create the conditions for a political process to achieve a lasting peace. America will work with the Afghan government as long as we see determination and progress. However, our commitment is not unlimited and our support is not a blank check. The president not revealing any numbers, not saying how many men and women in uniform will be sent over to the now roughly 16 year old war. Trump, who campaigned on the province of pulling soldiers out from the war, acknowledged his flip flop at the podium, admitting he heeded advice from top officials. My original instinct was to pull out, and historically, I like following my instincts. But all my life, I've heard that decisions are much different when you sit behind the desk in the Oval Office. So I studied Afghanistan in great detail and from every conceivable angle. Our nation must seek an honorable and enduring outcome worthy of the tremendous sacrifices that have been made. This morning, the Taliban released a statement saying that Afghanistan will be a graveyard for the U.S. if the U.S. continues their efforts in that nation. They also warned Trump that he's wasting the lives of American soldiers. But the Afghan chief executive is welcoming the new strategy. I'm sure that uh, the announcement of the policy and implementation of it uh, will, 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 will affect the situation uh, in favor of uh, the Afghan National Security Forces. Back to Trump's rally now. It's being held at the Phoenix Convention Center, and that venue posted some information on their website telling visitors what they can't bring. It includes things like fireworks, some ammunition. You also can't bring balloons and leave your selfie stick at home. The rally begins at 10 o'clock Eastern tonight.